Welcome back, everybody, to our Super Mario Brothers movie special, in which the PlayStation 2 segment will continue with Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I'd like to prove that I am smarter than a fifth grader, so we'll find out shortly. Let's play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And let's win the million dollars. What do you say? Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's time to meet our first player. Now the idea here is to pick someone smarter than you. I'm going to pick Alicia. Here are the subjects for today's game. Science, social studies, art, grammar, world history, reading, physical science, inventors, measurements, world geography. First grade All right. science. Okay, for $1,000, here's the question. What form of batter will you find inside a juice bottle filled with juice? Liquid. Locking in. You've got $1,000. Too easy. Excellent. Juice is the pressed liquid out of fruit. On a release, related note, did you know soda is a liquid with gas added to it? Let's what? pick a subject. First grade social studies. Okay. The $2,000 question is... What do we call a day on which we celebrate a particular event? Holiday. Locking in. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. Two grand. All right. U.S. holidays include Martin Luther King's birthday, Veterans Day, and Thanksgiving. It's time to call a new classmate to... I'm going to go with Jewel. Pick your next... Second grade art. Okay. For $5,000, here is the question. Which of the following careers involves doing artworks, graphic designer? Okay. I'm locking in my answer. You've got $5,000. That one was too easy. Excellent. A graphic artist puts together print, images, and sometimes moving images to make a piece of art. Which subject... Second grade grammar. Okay, the $10,000 question is... What is the prefix of the word tricycle? Uh, George tri locked in hit... I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. You've got $10,000. Yep. Excellent. Probably 25000 here in a second. Prefixes change your root word into a different word. Tri means three. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. I'm going to go with Jeremy. Pick another subject. Third grade world history. Okay, this is one of the biggest questions on the board. What because regardless of what happens the rest of the game, the... I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. You've got $25,000. Too easy. Woo Did you even read the question? Man, that was fast. Third grade reading. Pick your neck. Okay, no matter what happens, you've got $25,000. It's almost like a freebie question, because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen... What to the plot is a character for those Carol's House in Wonderland? March Hare! You've got $50,000. Yeah, yes. buddy! This subject must be your specialty. That is a March Hare. It was a common phrase in Lewis Carroll's time and served as the inspiration for this zany character. It's time to call a new classmate. I'm gonna go with Juliet. Pick another sub- Fourth grade physical science. Okay, you're playing for $100,000. What does an enamama use? Your classmate is locked in already. Uh, I'll just say elevation. I'm going to lock in my answer. Right. Mm, 
Nope. No, but I do have a save. Oh. So hopefully my classmates can save. Oh you. no. Let's see if your partner knows what the answer is. Come on, bail me out here. Yes! You're Wait, moving on! Your classmate just saved your bacon big time! Yes! Excellent! So I made it up to $100,000. You've got $100,000! I guess you're not quite finished with us yet. And an level meter can also measure the pressure of the wind. You've got, got your classmate. Fourth grade adventure. All right, for one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. May we Hell see the question, please? I think that's false. Locking in. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Yes. Excellent. Still alive. Outstanding. Steel was very difficult to use because it needed higher temperatures to forge. You're down to your last classmate. Pick your next. Fifth grade measurement. Okay. The three hundred thousand dollar question is. Celsius is Kelvin. Fahrenheit is to what? Lewis locked in his answer very quickly. Uh, let me go ahead and peek. I think I'll peek. Let's have a look at what your classmate wrote down. I'll agree. You've got $300,000. Yes! Excellent. Yeah, buddy. Grade key is a measurement of absolute zero using the same degrees as the Fahrenheit scale. Fifth grade world geography. That should be good. Okay. The five hundred thousand dollar question so I is. I have been controlled by Greece. Who controls the rest Lewis of the world? Lewis locked in his answer very quickly. Turkey. I'm going to lock in my answer. You've got five hundred thousand dollars. Awesome. This subject must be your specialty. Well, here you are at the end of the road. You still interested in the big money? Yes. You've reached the million dollar question. Here's how this deal works. I'm going to tell you the subject of the million dollar question, and right then and there, you'll have to decide if you want to try to answer it or not. And it's time to find out the subject of the million dollar question. And this is the million dollar subject. Now you'll need to make the call. Either go for the million or drop out and walk away with $500,000. If you go for it, you won't get any help from your classmates. And if you get it wrong, you'll walk away with $25,000. Or you could get it right and win a million dollars. What are you going to do? I'm going for the one million. I'm going for the million, baby. You'll either walk out of here with one million dollars or you'll walk out with 25,000. What is the name of the series of mountain ridges extending from Alaska to Mexico that forms the watershed of North America? Think carefully now. This is a lot of money that you're playing for. Oh my, I can't take much more of this. What is the name of the series of mountain ranges, mountain ridges extending from Alaska to Mexico that forms the watershed of North America? I'm going to say Sierra Nevada. I'm going to lock in my answer. You're now locked in for the final time. One million dollars is on the line. First of all, congratulations for getting to the end of the line. It's not easy. It's pretty simple. If you've got the right answer, you're a millionaire. If you don't, you will lose $475,000 and walk out of here with $25,000. No, I'm no. sorry. Oh, I am such an idiot. There's your answer highlighted up there. Show us the correct answer, please. Continental Divide. 
We've oh, reached wow. the end of the That's line, right. my friend. You just <laughs> flunked out of school. Oh, man. I thought for sure I had it. All right, it is time to say those eight magic words. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody.